ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.tv and watch from any device. Moving on, disastrous deja vu in Lebanon this weekend. A little over 18 months since the devastating blast at the Beirut port, a similar but thankfully smaller explosion reported on Friday in the southern port city of Tireh, a Palestinian refugee camp. And over a dozen people are injured, at least one person killed. Another explosion at another alleged secret weapons depot hitting another Lebanese port city over the weekend. The immediate area since evacuated and rescuers deployed. Only this time, instead of the capital of Beirut, it's the southern Lebanese port city of Tira, specifically in the Palestinian Burj al Shamali refugee camp. And thankfully, the blast far more contained, but over a dozen injuries and at least one death still reported. <laughs> Now fast forward 48 hours, investigations also discovering that rather than terror group Hezbollah having stashed the explosive materials at the building, the culprit here, the Palestinian terror group Hamas. Initial claims from an alleged Hamas source saying that a fire had started in a diesel tanker that then spread to a nearby Hamas-controlled mosque, which had weapons stored inside. Officially, however, Hamas rejecting this narrative, instead claiming that the explosions were caused by an electrical short circuit in the mosque in a storage area for oxygen bottles used to treat coronavirus patients. Whatever the case, the Lebanese state prosecutor's office reportedly calling on security and arms experts to inspect the site in the camp. There are some 12 Palestinian refugee camps scattered across Lebanon, containing tens of thousands of refugees and their descendants. They are effectively controlled by the armed Palestinian factions Hamas and Fatah, and customarily, Lebanese authorities do not enter.